Hello everyone, welcome to Prepoding. Today we are going to solve a question, rotate by 90 degree. So we are going on the board to explain the question first, then we will look for the solution. So here we are given a matrix. So let me draw a matrix first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Okay. Let's suppose this is the given matrix. So we have to rotate it by 90 degree in the clockwise direction. Okay. So this is the matrix. We have to rotate in the clockwise direction by 90 degree. So this is the required output that we want. Okay. So this is question all about. Now what should be the approach for this question? So let me introduce a point that we have studied earlier, transpose of a matrix. What happens in the transpose that our first row became the first column. So our second row became the second column. Third row became the third column and the fourth row became the fourth column. But there is a little difference here. Yes. Here what is happening? Our first row is not becoming the first column. It is becoming the last column. Okay. Our second row is becoming the second last column. Our third row is becoming the third last column. So first of all, let's go on the transpose. Then we will see what step we need to take further. If we take the transpose of this matrix, what will happen? Transpose. What will happen? Our first row will become the first column how transpose actually occurs it simply replaces the element like it will replace this by this this by this this will be c this will be i this by this this will be d this will be m and same goes on like j will be g and this will be j n will be h and h will be n L will be O, O will be L, and the rest of the things remain same. So this is going to happen. This will be the result. So let me write it properly. Okay. What will happen? Our row become column and column become row. So our first column will be A, B, C, and D. Then E, F, G, I, J. A, L, M, N, O, P. If we take transpose of this matrix, now we will get this point. But still, it is away from our result. What is the difference between these two? Here we see that the first row is becoming the first column, but we need it as a last column. So if we get it as a first column, and if we exchange these values, if we exchange the columns, what will happen? We will get the output. Just suppose if we exchange A by M. So M will come here, that we want. A will go at the last, that we also want. So if we exchange the columns now, we will get this output. Okay, so simply for solving this question, we have two steps. First, we have to take the transpose of the matrix. After that, we have to exchange the columns. Exchange the columns, okay. So let's go on the editor and see. First of all, we have to take the input. Scanner SCN is equal to new system dot n. Then we have a variable n to take care of. SCN dot next end. This is now we have to define a value of a, an array of n cross n by square matrix int arr equal to new int n n this is it now we have the array now we have to take the input inside this i equals to zero then n i will be please by one everything one more for loop this is also done now we have to Simply store the value dot next int 
okay now we have the input now first of all we have to do the transpose of this matrix okay let's go on the full screen okay so for taking the transpose what we have to do we have to simply i have told earlier that replace the a now uh, let me map the index first 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so for taking transpose what we have to do we have to replace array of 0 uh, and 1 to replace it by arr of 1 0 okay so we can see here the ith row and zth column is replaced by jth row and ith column okay so we will do that yes a for loop i equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus inside this uh, it is very easy but uh, there is a common mistake that everyone is going to make almost that if we run the loop completely on this complete matrix now it won't give us the result let me write the wrong code first then we will make it correct or end j equals to 0 j is less than n and g plus plus okay so for now we have to get the value of arr ij in a temporary variable okay after that we will store the value of arr j i in the arr ij equal to arr j okay now in arrj we will store the value of n. okay this is the code simply to exchange the values but this we won't do the work why let me explain you why because if we run the loop on complete matrix now what will happen in this uh, row when we are moving in this row what will happen b will be exchanged by e it will be e it will be b c will be exchanged by i so it will be c it will be i d will be exchanged by m it will be m it will be d till this point it is good but when it come to the one now what will it do it will simply again exchange one zero to zero one so this will again be exchanged it will again be exchanged so this will return as the same matrix because every element is getting exchanged twice okay so for that we have to control this point we have to only traverse in upper half this matrix we don't need to uh, exchange these elements twice if we exchange twice we will get the same matrix so for controlling that what we are going to do we are not going to run the loop in the complete matrix we are simply going to run the loop in the upper half triangle of the matrix so this will give us the transpose of that matrix so this is done now what we are going to do we have to swap columns that was the second part of the solution okay so for this we have to run one more loop inside this what we are going to do for swapping column it is also easy just suppose we have to run a loop which will go on the rows and inside this what we have to do we have to take the index from zero to the last and we have to exchange zeroth by last and then we have to increase the first index by one and the reduce the last index by one and then we will come to these elements and then we will exchange this okay so now go and let's see what we can do here okay so first of all we have to define one integer that's the left index that will be zero and one integer that is right index is equal to arr i dot length that's one okay so this is also done now until li is less than ri we will run this loop let me explain you this also like if you are here when we have to stop like we don't have to go till the last now until what it will do like just suppose we have a e i m if we go to the last now what will happen first a will be exchanged by m m will be a e will be exchanged by i i will be e but what will happen li will be at this point now and ri will be at this point now what will happen it will again exchange both these it will become e it will become i 
again our ri will reach this point by decreasing and our li reach this point and again it will become uh, it will become m it will become a so we won't get what we want okay so for reducing that we are taking this condition we have to swap it only till half okay so inside this what will happen li will be increased by one every time and ri will be decreased by one every time so this is what is going to happen and inside this we will swap the columns so arr ith column and lith row uh, ith row and lith column we will store that in a temporary variable okay this is stored now int not int arr ith row and rith column the value of ith row and rith column will be stored in arr ith row and lith column okay now the value of arr iri is stored in the arr ili now what will happen we will update the value of arr i r i by temp this part is done and this loop will run till our all the elements are swapped now after coming out of this loop what we are going to do we are going to simply call this display function to display our matrix we'll pass array inside this and this is done now let's go outside and run this code let's see what happens Okay, we have missed semicolon somewhere. Line number 10, I think. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's it. Now let's run this. It is accepted. Now let's submit it. Yeah, correct. 10 by 10. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Like and share the video and subscribe the channel.